All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, the gentleman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, bring through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster special. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, the head kick lands. Clocks the shot. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. 
So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Straight right, he misses. Big punch land. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, a huge block there. Superman punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. of what is an obvious edge in reach. Huge block there. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Just out of range with that left hook. Great punch Lance with so much power. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Effective lead right hand there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. The right hand just misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Good punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Choi. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is the jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big punch lands through the middle. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Kick to the body by Choi. Oh, defense into offense. Shot blocked. Counter hook is good. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat's mouth, you gotta play cat's mouth. Hit, don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Nice loop and punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And he landed the right hand there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice head kick. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches, kids, punches. He's doing a great job. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Trying to establish that jab once again. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Just missed with the left there. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Try to establish that jab. Real quick leg kick. Left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's able to slip the left leg. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Nice. Misses with the right hand. Nice. Got the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. A oh, little single collar tie there. Slips the punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Tags him with the left. Twenty seconds left. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any. Oh! He's done! He's done! Just misses there. What a there fight the so far! 
All right, so the round is over, and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down, and when the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to really become a factor. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took Ready? risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Ooh, big shot land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Head kick. That shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Nice punch lands over the top. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Right on the button. Just misses with the straight right. Just over three minutes to go. Straight punch lands. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punches the clinch. Slips the punch nicely there. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, huge right hand! start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. He got him. He blocks the punch. There by Choi. What a tricky head kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. And now he's got the tie clinch. So pretty impressive work by him here against the fence, not just staying busy, but staying accurate as well. Staying very accurate, active, making those strikes matter. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Nice strike. with the right hand. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Nice straight right lance. Head kick. Oh, 
Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, big head kick. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. That's a big strike right there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stoop. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. That was a nice fight. All right, single collar tie now. Back and forth we go. Just a slip there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. That right hand landed. He can't even, he can barely stand. Great punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Just missing on the counter there. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Big kick lands. Three minutes to go. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big head kick lands. Oh, yeah, right hand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Beautiful punch. And they set. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Oh, huge block. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. oh, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him. No one to hold him, yep, absolutely. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Blocks the shot. 90 seconds remain in the round. That's a good right hand right there. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, and he caught the kick. 
Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut. It targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Oh, big punch land. How about that shin? Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Right hand landed. Big leg kick lands. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Good stick. Nice counter shot there. Effective use of the jab there by Choi. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, that's a nice strike. Right hook to the head block. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent only saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud.